I Bought Bakers 2022 is bringing a lot of new and exciting things around here. And one of those things is introducing you to other very talented bakers. Today, I want to introduce you to Vedika from Hot Chocolate Hits. She has been running her YouTube channel and website for 10 years, since she was 14 years of age. She is super talented and I love her recipes because she pulls from her culture and her upbringing and that's what inspires her to bake. She just released her first cookbook that I wrote the forward for. I'm excited for you guys to meet her and let you know that she is going to guest host this episode and she's going to share with you a very exclusive recipe. Check it out. Thanks so much, Gemma. Hi guys, I'm super excited to be guest hosting an episode of Bigger Boulder Baking for you. Today I'm sharing with you a recipe for dirty chai brownies. So this is your favorite brownie, super fudgy, rich and chocolatey, but infused with a slightly unique flavor profile. So if you're looking to step out of the ordinary this new year and try something new, this is the perfect recipe for you. And before we get started, I just want to mention that the full printable recipe will be available on biggerbolderbaking.com. So you can just sit back, relax and enjoy. To start, I have here some all-purpose flour that I'm just adding to a small bowl, along with some cocoa powder for a richer chocolate flavor and a touch of salt to balance everything. And now for our chai spices. I just wanna take a minute to tell you a little bit more about the spices that are going into this recipe. So I grew up in an Indian household in Poland and I'm now living in the Netherlands. So I've had the unique opportunity to sample three different flavors. So in India, masala chai is tea that's infused with some spices such as ginger, cardamom and cinnamon and I thought that it would be nice to bring that combination of flavors to brownies and I was pleasantly surprised. Dirty chai is an element that I was introduced to in the Netherlands and that's just chai flavors but with the addition of coffee and I love adding coffee to chocolate because it really has an ability to bring out the flavor and the richness of chocolate so it was the final touch that took these to the next level. For simplicity and time's sake, we're using ground versions of these spices. So I have here some ground cinnamon, ground ginger, ground cardamom, ground cloves, and some instant espresso powder. Add those ingredients into the flour and cocoa mixture. Give it a quick whisk and then just set it aside. Next, I have here a small saucepan to which I'm adding in some unsalted butter and dark chocolate. Make sure to use chocolate with at least 65% cacao solids. We want to melt the chocolate, so you'll want to place it over a very low flame or over a double boiler so that it can melt completely and just stir it every now and then. You can also do this in the microwave, stirring after every 30 seconds or so or until the chocolate is nice and smooth. And at that point, just take it off the heat and set it aside to cool completely. In the meantime, I have here three eggs that I'm cracking into a large bowl. Like all the ingredients in this recipe, make sure the eggs are at room temperature because this keeps the batter from separating. Next, I have here some demerara sugar, which is essentially a less refined, coarser version of brown sugar and more easily available in Poland, where I am at the moment. But you can easily replace this with packed brown sugar, granulated sugar, or a combination of the two. Tumble the sugar into the eggs and we're going to beat these ingredients together for a good 10 to 15 minutes till it's nice and thick and doubled in volume. I like to do this step with a whisk by hand. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes, but feel free to use an electric mixer to speed up the process. Now we need to beat the eggs for several reasons. First, it gives the brownies a little height, especially since we're adding very little flour and no leavening agents. It's nice to do this. Second, if the sugar dissolves properly into the eggs, it gives the brownies that nice crackly crust that you know and love. What you're looking for is a mass that's doubled in volume. It should be very light in color. And if you lift the whisk or the beaters up, the mixture should fall in a ribbon. And you can see that that ribbon is still visible for about one to two seconds after it falls back into the batter. So that's done. And once that chocolate has cooled down, you can pour it into the egg mixture and just watch it transform into a luxurious chocolatey mass. Be patient, it does require a little bit of elbow grease, but it's worth the result. Now we can toss in the dry ingredients that we had prepared earlier. Slowly fold everything together till it's completely mixed through. Now make sure to scrape well down the sides of the bowl. And now for some add-ins, I'm throwing in chopped chocolate. I like a combination of milk and dark chocolate. I also like to add in some walnuts for a nice crunch. I love nuts and brownies, but feel free to omit them if you prefer otherwise. And we are finally ready to bake. So I have here a nine inch square baking tin that's 22 centimeters that I've lined with parchment paper. 
So just spread the batter as best as you can, getting all of those corners. Bake the brownies at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for around 25 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean with a few damp crumbs. So while the brownies are baking, I thought I would tell you a little bit more about Hot Chocolate Hits. So I started Hot Chocolate Hits when I was 14 and it was a way for me to share my passion for baking and cooking. It's still a hobby of mine, so I'm doing this on the side of a full-time study in law, but it's something that I like to keep alive as much as I can. So recently I was given the opportunity to write a cookbook which has just released. The cookbook is called 52 Weeks, 52 Sweets, and for every week of the year you have a new dessert recipe, so these are a collection of recipes that I've really built over time and I'm really excited about this product. So if you're enjoying this dirty chai brownie recipe, I'm sure you love all the recipes that I have in my cookbook. I really hope that you'll check it out. You can find out more about it on hotchocolatehits.com. The brownies have finished baking, they're out of the oven and I've actually let them cool to room temperature so that they'll be easier to cut. And using a sharp knife, cut them into squares. I do 16 squares per batch. Now, if you can see, these have a shiny, crinkly top. They're dark, rich, speckled with those nuts and chocolate. And for an extra indulgent treat, you can stack some of the brownies and serve with a generous scoop of vanilla ice cream and maybe some chocolate sauce. And you can taste a very mild flavoring of those spices, which just adds a little something extra to these. A perfect treat for all occasions. Thanks so much for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed learning how to make this dirty chai brownie recipe. If you'd like to see more recipes like this, you can actually follow me on my blog at Hot Chocolate Hits. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook, I'm at Hot Chocolate Hits, or subscribe to me here on YouTube. Now the full recipe for these brownies will be available on biggerbolderbaking.com. And I wish you a very happy new year and happy baking. I hope you enjoyed today's video and learned something new. As always, the written recipe can be found on biggerbolderbaking.com. And for those of you who don't know, the Bold Baking Academy is up and running, so you're definitely going to want to check that out. I'll see you guys back here again really soon.